Do you drink milk? Well, I certainly do. Milk is one of the best drinks that you can have for young babies, growing children, elderly people. It's a nutritional necessity. It's full of nutrients like calcium and vitamins, which are good for your teeth, bones, brain, and even for your fingernails and helping to keep them strong and healthy. Now, milk is sometimes referred to as a miracle food, but not just because of its health benefits. Milk is such a versatile drink that it's also used in other foodstuffs such as butter, cheese, yogurt, and my all-time favorite, a froth-filled strawberry ice cream milkshake. Have you ever wondered where your milk comes from and how it's produced? I mean, we all get our milk from places like this, right? And they get theirs from places like this, where they have milk producing machines like this. But do we know exactly how our milk arrives from the cow to our fridge? In the next five minutes, I'm going to show you exactly that and reveal a few facts which may shake your milkshake just a little. So let's take the story right back to the very beginning. Once upon a time, there were lots of these milking machines. But they weren't treated as just milking machines. In enlightened cultures, they were treated like cows. In ancient Chinese culture, for example, cows are often depicted as auspicious animals in that they invite good weather and bumper harvests. The cow was symbolic of a harmonious coexistence between mankind and nature. On the other side of the world, in Africa, a bridegroom's family was required to give several cows as dowry to the bride's family. This is similar to traditional Indian culture, where cows used to be a sign of great wealth and were often given in charity. Furthermore, in India, the cow is regarded as a sacred animal, and the Hindus refer to God as Govinda, or the protector of cows. Indeed, in this spiritual world view, animals are treated with the same compassion as loving parents would treat their children. But somewhere along the line, something went terribly wrong. With increasing industrialization and decreasing faith in a spiritual world view, modern man lost his sense of dependence on nature and began to see the natural world as his to master and exploit. The natural way of life gave way to corporate greed. Pursuance of economic growth now dictates that cows go through the most horrendous suffering just so the milk industry can continue to churn its huge profits on unnatural, intensive farms. Now, let's get back to our glass of milk. In this hand, I have another glass of milk, which looks the same as this one, but... Hmm, tastes better. So, what's the difference? Well, this glass of milk is known as organic milk, which means it comes from organic farms, where the cows are treated more humanely. Organic milk is a much more compassionate way of taking milk from the cow. It also has some health benefits due to the diet of the cows and research has shown that organic milk is substantially higher in vitamin E, beta carotene and antioxidants unlike our conventional milk. Now, here I have a third glass of milk which looks the same as the other two glasses but mm, tastes even better. Now this glass of milk is in a class all of its own. It's called cruelty-free milk. That is, milk derived not by hooking up the cows to a milking machine, but by hand milking them, just as Mother Nature intended. This milk does not put the cows through the trauma of intensive farming. Cruelty-free milk differs from organic milk in that these cows are not sent for slaughter after they stop milking. Rather, cows and calves are cherished and protected right to the end of their natural lives just like our own mother who raised us on her own milk. This compassionate, natural and completely cruelty-free way of milking is what we call the Ahimsa standard. Ahimsa is a Sanskrit word meaning non-violence. 
Now, if given a choice between these three different types of milk, most of us would choose the two compassionate options. Cruelty-free Ahimsa standard milk is not so readily available in supermarkets. However, I'm happy to inform you that most supermarkets do stock organic milk, which I believe to be a wonderful, compassionate second option. So, there you have it. The real story of milk. If what you've heard today has inspired you to make a small but significant change in your lifestyle, then here's what you can do right now. Thank you for watching and remember, think before you drink.